Every year, 24 of the most talented Shakespearean actors in the country represent New Zealand at London's Globe Theatre. Mastering Shakespeare is no mean feat, but imagine trying it when English is your second language. Natasha Utting met one young actor who's done just that and is on his way to London. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle towards my hand? Come. Well, life wasn't really going too well. For me, nothing was going well. I was getting in quite a lot of trouble and I was going to drop out of school and do something stupid, hanging out with wrong people. And such an instrument. I was to use. Minds, eyes are made fools of other senses. Gioni Kahu comes from an underprivileged background, but deep inside him, there was the seed of a dream. Because I wanted to be an actor, but like never, never took it seriously. He'd heard there was a special drama teacher at Aranui High School, a man who ran a theatre academy. And so I came here and I put my name down. On a whim, Tioni walked in the door. I was like, oh no. But um, from day one, there's a lot of support and like, really captured me. So Tioni, when you hear the kōwowo, all right, you know some, straight away something's happened. I think Tioni exudes a natural charisma, I hope he doesn't mind me saying that in front of him, <laughs> um, that is pretty rare, um, and he's able to channel that, you know, through performance. Art thou not fatal vision, sensible to the feeling as to sight? Mr Gilbert's changed my life with theatre, it's like, give me a second chance really to prove myself. Or have we eaten on the insane route? It takes the reason prisoner. Your children shall be kings. Oh, you shall be king. And they not called all to you into nothing. Not long after he joined Aranui's Theatre Academy, teacher Robert Gilbert cast him as Macbeth, the lead, in the Sheila Wynn School Shakespeare competition. Shakespeare to me was like, oh, didn't even know who it was. So when we got to was doing a Shakespeare competition, I had to do the old Google and see what it was. I was like, oh. It was a seriously yeah, daunting undertaking. So you need to be like, stuck Mr. Gilbert had to help me out because my THs were <laughs> terrible. Um, so, like, no, learning the language was hard yeah. enough because, like, my first language was Te Reo Māori, so learning English was hard, and then next minute, the learning Shakespeare. Body, the Just a phenomenal story, really. Um, a young man enters the theatre class at Year 13, walks on stage for the first time at the regional Shakespeare Festival takes away three awards, gets selected for the National School's Shakespeare production in Dunedin. From Dunedin, he was chosen to be part of the prestigious Young Shakespeare Company, and he's off to perform at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre in London in July. The first thing I done, I reckon, was um, rang up Mr Gilbert, asked him how much does it cost to send a postcard. There's the... <laughs> To get to London, he needs to raise at least eight and a half thousand dollars. Fellow students at Aranui are helping by putting on Macbeth as a fundraiser. Turn around. Turn the opposite way. That's it. Good. There will never be. Seek to know no more. But there's more for Tioni. Oh, he's a TV star as well. The Erin Simpson show and What Now, and he's been cast in both of those. London first, next, maybe Hollywood. No matter what's going on in my life, no matter like what's happening, it's just when I stand on that stage or when I act, it just t go goes all the way. If Charles shall have me king. For once in my life, it feels right. Chance may crown me without my stir. 